Hello! Hello! And welcome to episode 26. Yes, 26 of the freaks. Yeah, of the Mr. Courgette and DBSB Chili and Zombie Experience. Experience. Oh, that was smoothish. Yeah, mm. for us, that was very yeah. smooth. Yeah, so we've said hi, we've said hello, but we could also be saying Kanijua. Oh, indeed we could say konnichiwa, or if the time is right, or the other things that I didn't learn while I was in Japan. While I was in Japan, you say? Yes. You may recognise me from the influential underground um, experimental music club in, in Tokyo, The Nightingale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was me. I did a gig there uh, when I was in Tokyo. Did I mention I was in Tokyo, uh, in Japan? No, I didn't think no, you did. No, oh, all right, yes. So yeah. I went on holiday to Japan, and um, Mr. Courgette said, make sure you look out for some chilli stuff. Japan's not hugely well known for its chilli stuff. In the north of Japan, apparently there's an area that says they've got this super hot chilli. It's basically a naga. Uh, but you know, um, spoilers. The spoilers. Um, so, but I did find these chili crisps. We have um, this flavour, which might be. Is that a? Do you think that's? Do you think that's a lemon? I definitely think it's a lemon because. The, the or is it an onion? The mouth is puckered. Like and a butt. And on that side, there's a puckered lemon. Yes. Ah, so lemon and mm. chili. These are the more mild ones. Yeah. And then. Mr. George Juniper, he let me know about these, which have habanero in them Ooh. and have five chilies on them. That's right. It's a so, five chili rating, folks. So uh, yes, should we should we get lemony fresh first? I think so. Shall I do the honours? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Ooh. Let's have a sniff. Bit of lemon coming through there. The bit thinner Ooh. than I expected. Oh, I'll tell you what the crisps are like. There's a, there's a particular type of crisp, um, Ringo's. No, I only had Paul, John and George's. Uh, no, the old school crisp, the Ringo's, they, they, they smell No, off. No, Space Raiders, yes. Ringo's, no. I think they were the same things, just different shapes. Um, so, uh can we dive in? Grab oh. Oh. So here they are. Just thin, thin rings. Ooh! <laughs> Gotta be careful with the thin they, ring. They do look like thinner, but bigger hula hoops. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Shall we? Yes, I think we should. They taste like hula hoops. Yeah, there's a bit of a tang to them. Mm. I'm not getting much lemon. I'm getting. Well, I'm, I'm kind of getting a marmite. You know that mm. kind of marmitey. Yeah, it's definitely more of a yeasty flavour. Mm. But that could be the potato. Could be stuff. I mean, it's got. There's a nice little burn to it. It's nothing. Yeah. It's nothing drastic, chili wise. It's actually just quite a nice, warm crisp. It's quite yeah. nice. I mean, it's definitely a nice. Where well, you get a lot of corn chips and things that say they've got chili in them, and you go, hmm. Kind of got a dusting of it. That's a nice warm flavour. You don't necessarily taste it straight away, but oh, yeah. it's, they're really nice and warm. In yeah, that's quite interesting. I can get a little bit of my my mouth is salivating like yeah. a bit of lemon has been on there. Yeah, and there's a little citrus zing. I might go for it. Another. 
Nice and crunchy. Mm. Mm. They're good. Mm, Thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're in Japan or you see these, give them oh, a go. Give them a go. They're not too bad. Mm. Yo, now getting a bit of the lemon. Yeah, a little bit of citrus freshness. It's mm. not full on yeah. slap you in the face lemon. Right. These are the lemon ones. Now let's, let's just go, go for the hell hot habanero ones. The habanero ones. Apparently, uh, that's the sign of, uh, in there. There's the sign of uh, the kanji for habanero. So I've been told. Awesome. Do you reckon there's a secret whole habanero in every other pack? Oh, I hope so. Can I give those a whiff? Oh, yeah, so there's a lot more of the. They smell a bit paprikery. Yeah. That kind of uh, Bombay mixy yeah. kind of thing. Hmm. So, uh. Don't mind if I do. Same shape as the other ones. Yeah. Yep. Down the hatch DB is yep. Now, so far, I'm getting no heat off those. Yeah, no. No, zilch. I think flavour-wise, the lemon ones are winning. Mm. I think the lemon citrusiness really helps them. Definitely. There's a bit of a marmite yeastiness. Yeah. I'm getting a bit of a warmer mouth. But I'd still say the other ones were warmer. I'm getting, I'm getting something. Yeah. A bit more of a different kind of heat. I think, I think the lemon ones, yeah, they're they're, they're winning for winners. general, the just general flavour. Yeah. These ones, they're kind of a bit like a, um, almost a barbecuey. Yeah. Flavour, crisp. They, you know, they're all right, but. I think the lemon ones are more interesting flavour wise. Well, you heard it here folks, all right, pretty good. Yeah. So if you're in Japan and you know, you've been to the Nightingale Theatre and you know, you're probably thinking, well that was a great set from Nil by Nose and what should I do now? You could go to the shops and you could get some lemon cherry crisps. Yeah. yeah. Or you can get these ones, it depends. Dep no, I got these from the, 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 the Japanese version of a pound shop. Awesome. That's cool. Uh, the 100 yen shop. Ooh. So, DBSB, what film are we doing tonight? Well, today may be controversy. Ooh. Because we are doing a Cronenberg classic uh, that Mr. Courgette hasn't seen. Shocking. Um, Reanimator. Ooh. It's a long time since I've seen it. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things that it's not directly a zombie, but would you count Frankenstein as a zombie? He's a reanimated dead person, but reanimated by science rather than a mystery of Ooh, zombie. Virus versus science. But hang on. Um, but we're talking Frankenstein's monster rather than Frankenstein. Oh. So that was Reanimator, 1985, so 21 years ago now, yeah. which is, yeah, it's 21 or is it 31? No, oh, 31, 30, wow, well, yeah. maths is not strong tonight. No. No, 31, well, um, the effects for that time, fantastic. I, and for the budget as well, you, yeah. you could tell, it was, I must admit, uh, jet lag caught up with me and I did have a bit of a have a bit of a blink during uh, a lot of it um, but the um, 
they used what they had to the max. You know, oh, some yeah. great stuff using lighting and, and, and smoke effects. Yes, yeah. camera work's fantastic. Yeah. And it's really, really creepy. It's brilliantly done. But the characters are so well developed in it. Yeah, and it starts off having a kind of a feel of a, a, a doctor's soap opera. Yeah. Daytime soap opera thing, and then it just descends into madness. Yeah, the whole sort of thing of, damn it, you can't bring them all back to life. Yeah. But can you? Ooh. Um, yeah, it's so many just little things and little twists and blah, 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 blah. It's creeping dread done. In, I don't want to say a slapstick way, but there are various elements oh, of it that there are there are slapstick. very slap. But then Cronenberg is good for that uh, dark slapstick mm. kind of thing. Um, yeah. And it, uh, yeah, and, and and David Cronenberg is quite well known for his kind of me- medical dramas, <laughs> and um, yeah, so it, it, there was lots of. Operations, bodies, yeah. nudity. But yeah. I think we're calling it definitely a zombie film because reanimated corpses. I mean, with the insertion of a fluid, which could equally be a virus. You know, oh yes. You know, we don't. You you know, you never know what the fluid is. Whether it's just some chemical concoction that he's dreamt up in a lab, whether it's a virus he's got from somewhere and mutated or whatever else. Doctor Hubert West. Yes. Um, no. Yes, Dr. Herbert. Herbert West, uh, who who makes the concoction, he really reminded me of the guy, the serial killer from Sin City. You know the one with the glasses. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, in I think he's from the first one, isn't he? The one with the yeah. glasses. Yeah. Kind of really, really this he had this brilliant, really. Twisted calmness. Yeah, and like almost no emotions, and just yeah, though you could tell there was something not quite right with him. Yeah, I mean the characters are very signposted. Yeah, no, they're all they're very complex characters, but there's no subtlety to it. It's very much a he's a baddie, here's a goodie, um, here's a love interest. Yeah. They're very well defined. It's really good. I mean, you can see why it's such a seminal work. It's you can see a lot where a lot of other films have gone. Oh, that's a good bit. We might sort of semi steal that, or oh, we can see why he's done that in that sort of way. That's fantastic. We'll have that. You know. Yeah. Um. There's a lovely little bit in the lab where, um, oh, spoilers. Um. He's got the disembodied head, and he can't stand the head up, and just puts it on a spike, and you know, from the desk, and reminds me very much of bit in idle hands where the character's been decapitated and they basically put the fork in the body and put the head on the top <laughs> yeah. to try and oh there you go and it's little bits where you can just see how people have got oh yep yeah, yoink uh, yeah. uh, uh, those with the with the disembodied head was excellent uh, the way they yeah. filmed it uh, to keep it really simple you know rather than having a complicated shot of a working out how to get a head to talk floating yeah really clever shots of like you could almost you you could really tell it was just a close up of the actor to his neck moving around like that and it was so effective really really very effective uh, for a minimal you know no CGI no wires just you know cornstarch and and red colouring <laughs> just awesome two thumbs up from me yeah it's a good yeah. film even though I do sort of slightly pick it up off. in a charity shop or there's probably some remastered blu-ray uber edition somewhere or if you've got a Netflix subscription it's on there but go out and watch it take the time it's an hour and 26 minutes I'm sure you can spare that out of your day until next time bye bye <laughs>